This is week number six of our oyster project. Yep. Raising oysters for the Restore Our Shores Foundation in the Brevard County Zoo to eventually, I guess, we will raise them and then they will take them from us and place them um, throughout the river. Yeah, they're building reefs on yeah. the river and, and key spots to help um, with the pollution. Yeah, so. And they were about a month old when we received them. So um, this is our sixth week doing the videos. So they're two and a half months old. Two and a half months old, right, okay. And I think we have, some are a little younger than the others because I, I did get them in two batches. Yeah. So, um, so one or one set of them are a little younger. Yeah, we have a lot of oysters. Last time they came to count, uh, they counted 2,500 oysters. Now, last video we did, Estimated I think, that many. yeah, last video we did, I think I told everybody that the team from the Restore Our Shores Foundation was going to come and bring us some clams. Uh, and that was last week, and I just have my dates wrong. Apparently, they're coming tomorrow, right? I had my dates wrong, yeah. Okay, yeah, so um, we don't have an update. I told everybody in this week's uh, update that we would show you the clams or give you uh, you know, rundown on our new clams, but we don't have new clams yet, so. Oh, it's clear. Um, oh, it is clear, look at that. Nice. It's deep, too. Let's tiptoe so that we don't scare whatever's yes. on them. Whatever's on the cages? Uh -huh. Sometimes I'm going to keep the camera going here, guys, and we're going to go real slow because sometimes cool stuff just pops out from under the dock. We've seen big spotted eagle rays, huge schools of fish, nurse huge fish, nurse sharks, uh, manatee, yeah, giant snook. There was a turtle out of course, there. When I'm, of course, I'm going to say that, and we're not going to see anything cool today, but... Um, Nice and clear. And it is yeah, nice and clear. It is real clear. All right, well, let's pull up these. Ca oh, there's something right there. Is that a turtle or a splotch of seagrass or something? I can't tell. It's not moving. I think it's seagrass. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to hand you the uh, camera. Okay. And I got my gloves here. I'm not wearing shoes. I should be wearing shoes, but I got my gloves so I don't get my hands all cut up. And all we're doing right now, if you've watched any of our other videos on our project here, um, you know all we're going to do right now is pull these cages out and let them sit for eight hours uh-huh and then uh when eight hours is up we'll come out hose them down and uh get them back in the water so. yeah i'm going to try to get out here and um and check them for barnacles and crack them off barnacles and mussels maybe this That's afternoon the first one. Let's, see if there's... let's see if we got anything Pretty good. They're looking at a lot of silk on them. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we'll shake that off the best we can. That'll make our job hosing them down easier. I'm hoping that this nice oh, rainwater. Oh, they're way cleaner now. Look at that. Yeah. I'm hoping the rainwater is going to help these guys out. We got any predators in there? Tell you what we'll do. The next one, I'm going to pull right up and stick on the dock so we can try and catch some of the predators. Okay. In in the act. I'm just gonna pull this one right up and we'll see if we can get any of the predators to come out of here before. Don't see anything. It's toad good, fish, yeah, toad fish or. We don't want anything. Yeah, so. nothing in there. Great. That is good. All right, let's shake some of the. Now you can kind of see how, how much that helps it. Yeah, it does. And so the reason we're letting them sit out for eight hours is to mimic a low tide. So, you know, any uh, predators that are on these that have to be in the water will die off. Oh, look at that little needlefish. Yeah. It's like ultraviolet. Oh, man, they got a lot of silk. I'm surprised the water's real clear. I guess we've had a lot of wind yeah. this week. It was the water hadn't been clear all week. They're cleaning off real nicely, though. Yeah. Looking so good. What's that, number three? Yep. weeks ago, I think even last week, every cage we pulled up had a pair of mating blue crabs yeah, on the top. Weeks ago, yeah. yeah. If you check back, that might have been week four. A little video series here. So you guys can also see this cage has way fewer clams in it than some of the other ones. It's because we still need to 
redistribute yeah, them. Yeah, some of the we were given some of these cages uh, were given to us with lots of clams. And then we brought two I bags oysters, home sorry. without habitats. Oysters. I'm kind of dyslexic when it comes to clams and oysters. <laughs> uh, Sorry. I promise I know the difference, <laughs> but, but you will hear me say clam sometimes. So here's our so dud. So this is our dud one. Yeah. I really don't see anything good. Yeah, I good. see barnacles, which we don't want. And this is a total flop. Yeah. So it's a bummer. Well, we can return them back to them, hopefully, and yeah. when Maybe they come we'll tomorrow. Talk we'll talk to them about that tomorrow. Yeah. All right, last one. Let's see if I can get a predator out of this one before I shake it out. That's, I think this is our best one. Any predators? No. Nope. It's oh, good. It is good. It's cold. Yeah. It hadn't been cold all week. It's cold today. That's yeah. Cool. Usually you don't see us wearing hoodies. It's got a lot in there too. Yeah. This is our best one. Like each one is like yeah. a solid ball. Oysters, yeah. yeah. Oh, they look good. This is the the old oyster shell that they used to see the new ones. They do look good though. All right, cool. All right, so we'll let these sit out for eight hours, and then we will get back with everybody when we come out to clean them off and put them back in the water. All righty. All right, so we are back. It's been eight hours. I got my my gloves and my implements ready to clean these cages. All right. Um, Again, we took the cages out to mimic a low tide. Why do we do that? To get the predators out. Yeah, so what kind of predators? Um, crabs are the main one yeah. that we see. Um, and those little toadfish. Uh, there's like toadfish, uh, um, sheep's head. Yep, yep. Uh, and then lots of little things go in them for habitat, for safety. Right, so basically when we pull the cages out, we either scare that stuff out of the cages or it dies sitting on the dock for eight hours mm -hmm. and then it's no longer a threat to the oysters. So we've reached our eight hour point. I have the camera going because again, sometimes we see cool stuff. You guys, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's a school of little, little teeny fishes down there. It's not quite as clear as it was this morning. It's still pretty clear though. It is pretty clear. Um, I don't see them. Sometimes we see some stuff shoot out from under the dock. Not seeing anything right now. So, all right, let's go. Let's go take care of our cages. We'll give everybody a. Um, there's that blob again. Yeah. We'll give everybody a look, a, a before look, and then we'll do an after look, so you can see what they look like. They're actually pretty clean this week. That's the thing. If you stay on top of it, it's easy to do. So the cages look good too. Yeah, they do. They don't need and much. we're not going to have much to do today. Do a little scrubbing, uh, a little rinsing. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hand the camera over to Annalisa. I'm going to get the hose. Oh, it's windy out here. It's been kind of chilly day. It's been windy, yeah, it is kind of a chilly day. Rare for Central Florida. Really, all we'll do is we'll just rinse these cages, rinse to get the whole cage nice and wet. And then I'll give the cage a little scrub just to prevent anything from building up on it. And then we want to rinse off these oysters real good. These look good in here. Yeah, Holy I think cow. this is our best one. Yeah, these look real good. I think they're our oldest ones, too. I think this was also a cage of older ones, but they just, I guess, oh, yeah. the spawning oh, yeah. didn't work out so much for that set of them. Mm -hmm. These look pretty good. There's not really a lot of rinsing we got to do. I'm going to pull some of these out to look at them. Some of these look great. Uh -huh. Look at this one right here. I see some sea squirts in this one. But that's about it. I, I, I was thinking I needed to go through and, and pull yeah, off. There's any one right there. Barnacles. Yeah, I'd pull those off at this point. You usually can take, twist them they're off. They're taking it's up hard space to, now. Hard to twist the words out right there. Ugh. 
They almost look like. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. the sea squirts. Yeah. Are weird looking. They look like little brains. Yeah, they do. Let's see them up close. Yeah, I'll get it. I got gloves. Show to them up close. Oh, there's all, they're all over this. Not, they're taking up That's space. That's a big one right there. Yeah. Oh, look, you can like see its insides. You see that? Yeah, they're cool. glowing red. All right, so that's basically what we have to do for each cage. We'll go through and uh, do the other five cages. We'll probably pick through this and get some more of these sea squirts off of here. I, I, they're not predators. They're just taking up space, I think. Yes. On the, yeah. yeah, they're just taking space. So but we'll go that through. space is valuable. We so. picked out a lot of them the other week, but we'll go through and pick off more of these, and we'll hose off all the other cages and then get back with everybody when we're done. All right. All right, so we got them all clean. Let's see, they weren't that bad um, to begin with, but they're all clean now. We did notice though on this cage right here, this cage right here is broken. You guys can see right there. And then there was another one. I think it was this one, right babe? Yeah. Yeah, right down here, this one's broken on this corner right here. Um, so we're gonna have to fix both of those, but I'll go ahead and show you all of them all cleaned and then reese just ran up to the house and got me some zip ties you got some zip ties bud all right let's see here here i'm gonna hand the camera over to annalisa and then we'll just you know these cages require that they're in a salt environment obviously they require some maintenance um, not that big of a deal hard to do Probably bring some cutters out here next time I come out and cut this excess off, but uh, there we go. And if we don't fix them, not only will the oysters fall out potentially, but more predators will get in. So. Yeah. We'll sneak in through the cracked yeah, door. So we'll have to pick that up so we don't step on it. Alright, so now all we gotta do is balance these guys out, guys and gals, out in there. Have it happen. There's a couple that came out here. We'll just put them back in the water. We wanna balance so the cages sit nice and balanced in the water. See, I'm wearing gloves. I should be wearing shoes too because these barnacles and these cages and stuff can really cut you up if you're not careful. We never wear shoes, so it's not really ever a thought of mine to put them on. These look good too. Yeah, these look real good. It's so exciting how fast they grow once they get going. <clears throat> Next week, these will be big enough that they won't fall through the uh, cage anymore. Yeah. Maybe the little ones. All right, here's the last one. Oh man, that one's heavy. Oh. It does. That's it. Is that it? Yep, yeah. that's all of them. You got them all. All right, all I right. got the all piece right, of metal. So this, uh, if you have any questions or comments about our little operation here or about the Restore Our Shores program or foundation just post down below um, we do a, a video every week um, showing the progress of the oysters and like we said earlier we're going to get super clams this week we think yep, tomorrow tomorrow right? yeah so we'll have that for next week's update i know i said that last week but we will have it for next week's update so if you have any questions or comments about our operation here just post down below until next time everybody out there take care